I, I, <laughs> I will cut that off. Um, uh, hello, welcome back. Uh, so Dawson and I are still trying to figure out what's going on with the tape drive. And so we thought um, the first thing we should do is make sure that we um, have a clean formatted tape to use for the tape diagnostics. The diagnostics just tell us to use a scratch tape, but they don't say whether it needs to be formatted or not. Although they do talk about uh, going up to block, I think, 777 in the, on the tape, which implies a, a, maybe a tape, a long tape that's formatted. Um, what is it? Do you remember what the, it's 800 something blocks is the long yeah. tape? Yeah, there's the 896. And... 8, 896, that sounds right. Um, so we're going to try to format the tape. We already have a video of marking a tape, um, so we've already loaded the mark program, and uh, we're, so we're going to try to do that. Um, and I'll record it in case we get some errors. So um, we'll see what happens. Hey, it loaded right. <laughs> this program will format and check link tapes for the PDB-12. Select the option and press line feed on the console teletype. So we want to do the 896 standard block version. So I'm going to push. Do we want the standard link format? Uh, But it, given that the tape control or the data test uses up to 777 blocks or something, we could try one with one. Sure. Scratch tape. Great. Run the other okay. Tape. So do you want to try the link format first? Yes. Okay. We have to go to our console. Go to our console and hit one. Uh, I see. Correct. Yep. Hit one. So now one appeared on our screen over here. Select one. Okay. And now. And you hit Control J. Okay. So I'm going to hit Control J here. And. He said. Yeah. Okay. Um, oh, you know what? Uh, it might be our, uh, our VM might use the right control. Or it's... Yep, okay, so... Uh, so, you heard that... It was trying to mark it. Dawson hit the mark switch here that we talked about before. Here's our, our handy tape for uh, that situation. So we're marking. Um, while it marks, we don't really get any feedback on the CRT. Yeah, the, the, ta <laughs> the, to be the tape is still on the reel, so that's always a good sign. It always sounds so horrible, but it says, good tape. Uh, allow mark tape to rewind and select the option and type line feed on the teletype. So I think we're going to mark another tape. Yes. And uh, we'll mark it in that long 896 mode. So with the tape is rewound. So, um, Dawson's going to take the tape off. Thank you. All right. Okay. So, should be good for another now I'm going to uh, hit one to mark another tape. Again. Oh, okay. It means that carriage return. Oh, I was wondering what Control J it was for. So uh, now we want the 896 standard block, so that's B. And then I'm going to hit Control J again. So when I hit Control J. It needs to be a capital B. Oh, capital B. Thank you, Dawson. Yep. Okay, now when I hit Control J, the tape's going to start vibrating and Dawson is ready to hit the mark switch so we don't um, damage the tape. So here we go, I'm going to punch a control J. Oh, that's... Oh. oh. So... Uh, right enabled had to be on. Well, that makes sense, right enabled. 
Okay. So this could also take a while, so I may uh, edit out some of the boring parts. It's rewinding, it looks like. Alright, so it worked. So now we have two tapes that are marked correctly. Um, they passed the test. So now we can probably go back and try our other uh, diagnostic and see if uh, that helps us or, or not. So um, stay tuned.